Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this place of celebration. And today we are celebrating the unholy matrimony between Canon and Sony. Let's get into it. Okay, so welcome and all of you that are new, thank you again for watching and all of your subs and all that kind of stuff, the comments, the shares, I really, really thank you so much. And today we've got a kind of a special video because I, I'm pretty sure this is the first time you're going to see one Canon camera that accepts Canon lenses with full electronics working, but also accepts Sony E-mount lenses that are fully manual. It's a crazy one. Now I've dabbled with optics before and I built a speed booster that works on the Canon EFM but also works on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. That was a really simple build though because what I did was I got a cheap mic adapter from Amazon and I bored out the middle, just cut it out and that allowed me to remove the optics from the speed booster and then put them inside the mic adapter and it worked really well. And obviously that saves me 150 pounds and I've got the best optical glass when it comes to speed boosters. So really successful little mod that was. And I love to mod, you know, if you've been in this channel long enough, in between the reviews, you know that I love to mod things and just do crazy stuff. But this is the first time I've ever done something this crazy where one camera can accept two different mounts. It's, it's absolutely insane. Now this came about because of Sure. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen my Sure review now, and I really, really enjoy using these lenses. I actually love them. It's not a stretch to say that they are my favorite lenses now. I'll grab them and go out and shoot and just love putting them on and just playing with them. And yes, I've used them in professional work already. I love them that much. And I think you could tell by the energy of that video how much I enjoyed using them. But the problem is that they make it for every single crop sensor mount apart from EFM. And I understand because EFM is dying, you know, no one's really using it anymore. Not that many companies are bringing out lenses and even Canon themselves are moving their crop sensors to RF. So I do understand. The issue is though, is that the EOS M, which a lot of people still use, and they run Magic Lantern on it. It's a smaller camera than this, I'll put a picture up. This is my own build, my own design, which I made with a, a friend of mine called Tom. And I can't stop using EFM lenses because of, I love this camera, I still use it for a lot of things. So when they said they weren't bringing out an M version, I was, yeah, I was, I was pretty upset. But the Canon EOS M, it loves light. It loves light. You give this thing a lot of light, the footage comes out absolutely fantastic. So I had to find a way to get the Sure onto the EFM mount. Now, Sure have a set of anamorphic lenses. You've probably seen them. I think there's a 50, an 85, a 20, 24, and a 35. And those mounts, some of those mounts are actually interchangeable. So if you have an E-mount lens, you can actually just screw, it, screw off the mount and then screw on an EFM mount. So some of them are interchangeable. And that was the route I was gonna go down. But that causes a few problems because the, the inter interchangeable mounts don't work on every single lens. They don't work on the 50 anamorphic, for instance. So I didn't really want to spend the money. And also I didn't really want to be changing mounts when I want to go between my Sony and my Canon. So the only option that was left was to design a mount that can take EFM lenses and take Sony lenses. And you're probably thinking that's impossible, but it's not. If you look at the flange distance, which is the distance between the sensor to the end of the, the mount where the lens attach, they're both 18 millimeter. So as long as you can mount the lens, you should have no problem with infinity focus, close focus, or anywhere else in between. And that was amazing. So one night when I couldn't sleep, I just got up and then started hacking away, you know, and then I actually managed to make it work. And you're probably thinking there's no way that this works, <laughs> but uh, let me show you. So, here I have a Sony FX30 with the E-mount Sure on there. And here I have the Canon EOS M Lite with a 10 to 18 and it's got a Mikey EFM adapter, okay? So with the Canon, everything works. The electronics work, the aperture works, you know, the focus, everything works. But my goal is now is to put the Sony on there and I'll be able to use manual lenses. So I'm gonna take off this E-mount Sure off of the FX30. And then put it directly onto the Canon EFM mount. Turn it until it locks. So that's locked now. And then now we've got a E-mount lens on a Canon body. And it works absolutely fine. And this is absolutely crazy. I'm telling you, this is nuts. 
Now you wouldn't be able to get Sony electronic lenses to work, but you can get cine lenses that are made for E-mount to work no problem. And you just don't understand how crazy this is because it doesn't matter now if EFM dies because any manufacturer like Zongi who just released their Speedmasters or Sure with their Nightwalkers, any time it's made for Sony E-mount, you can just buy them, put them on your EFM camera and go away and shoot. You will never lose money on your lenses that you've bought because the E-mount is always gonna be in demand. If you do have Sony cameras and the EFM camera or m light, whatever, you can interchange both your cine lenses and use them on both mounts. There's so much scope for it. You could possibly even use a Micro Four Thirds to Sony E adapter and use Micro Four Thirds lenses. This is a massive, massive deal. But enough talk about this. Let's just go and have a look at some footage which I shot in 1080p on the M light and with the Surays. Now you will see a bit of aliasing on there because I shot in 1080p, but it was just a quick rough test to check any, you know, infinity focus and close focus and all that kind of stuff. So let's go. So yeah, I think the footage came out pretty good, to be fair, it's no problems with it. Shooting at f1.4 wide open on a sunny, sunny day was absolutely insane, but it was a nice day and, I, and you can tell I went crazy with the saturation because I really wanted it just to look, you know, just mad and it does. And I absolutely loved the experience of shooting with the Nightwalkers on the Canon EOS M. And now I guess you're wondering how the hell did he do it? So I'm gonna show you the mount and you're probably not even gonna notice any difference on the mount, apart from a few scratches there you're probably not even gonna notice anything. And that's because it was very intricate to do. When you've got these, you've got these locking parts here, the parts that protrude out, those had to be cut in a very fine way, okay? Because I wanted the electronics still to work on the EFM adapter, because I want you to be able to swap out your Canon lens, which works electronically, to a Sony Cine lens and have no problems. So the cuts had to be very fine. I also had to make the whole border of the mount a bit wider as well because the Sony, they, they, they're they just a little bit wider. So I had to make that wider. And then also underneath these locking little pins that come out or whatever you wanna call them, I had to shave underneath as well. And I'm talking just millimeters of, of shaving because 
it what I found out is that not all adapters are made the same. Some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner. So for instance, if I've got like a Sigma lens, then that will fit on straight away. But to get the Sures on, I had to go a bit deeper, shave a few more pieces off here and there to get the Sures to fit. Then when I tried my Metabone Speed Booster, that was a bit, still a bit tight to get on and off. So what I wanna do is I kinda wanna leave it where it is because it fits the Sures nice and easy, the Sigmas go on. You probably wouldn't use the Sigmas anyway because of fly-by-wire, but the Sures go on and off nicely. So I'm gonna test a few more Sony Cine lenses and hopefully they go on nicely as well. So there's a few cons in doing this and I'll show you the first con now. The first con is when you look at these cameras, Sony's release lock is down here whilst Canon's is on the side. So that means when you put your lenses in to lock them, your text is not gonna be in the right position. You can see there where it's upside down. Now, I could have just left the lens to go on tight and have it the right way up, but I really wanted these to lock and be solid. You know, I didn't want it to fall and come out. So it's a small price to pay for having a, you know, a locking E-mount lens on your camera. Now, the second problem is you won't be able to use anamorphic lenses. Because of the way it locks in, it's gonna make your anamorphics be off center. So the only way you can really use anamorphics is if you're using some sort of adapter like the SLR Magic or Sures anamorphic adapter, and then you, you're free to rotate that wherever you want. So where do we go from here? And do you have to chop your mount to do this? So when I finally finished the mount, I jumped on the phone to Tom and told him all about it. And Tom was really excited about the prospects of doing this. So I asked him if it was possible for him to machine a mount out of aluminium that we could put on the market that people could do this. So it doesn't matter which M camera you have, whether it's an M50, M100, M2, EOS M, M Lite, technically this mount should be able to go on any of these cameras. And the way you would do it, just remove these four screws either side and then take off this EFM mount and then you'd put the mount on that we supply and then you're good to go, nothing else to do. Your EFM lenses will work with full electronics, autofocus, touch focus, aperture control, everything will work. But if you do buy some Sony Cine lenses, then again, you can put those on and use full manual controls on them. As I said, these will not work with electronic Sony lenses because the contacts wouldn't line up. It's impossible to do that but with Sony Cine lenses, you're good to go. So that was it really, just another little fun mod which I did and I um, hope you like it. If you did like it, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Get these videos out there, you know, give me the energy to do more of this stuff. And if the mount is something that you would like to see on the market that we can supply, that you can change so easily, let me know in the comment section as well. Please let me know because, you know, we're working on so many things now. You know, we still got to do the Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera, box camera. You know, we're still tying up the M Light orders now, getting there. And we've got another camera, which we're gonna do soon as well. So remember, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one, later.